So um, I got my knife, got my cheap whiskey. Uh, you didn't see no ice there. And um, I'm gonna unpack this. Um, I was part of the Kickstarter last year, so it's uh, been like a year since uh, I sent in my um, my pledge. This package was sent um, the 20th of August 2013. In case you're looking at this video in the far future, it was sent from Texas from Reaper Miniatures, and it came to me. My address here in Norway, in Tromsø, Norway, um, two days ago, and it's the 31st of uh, August, so it only took 11 days from leaving a uh, Reaper Miniatures to coming to Tromsø. Anyway, let's uh, see what's in the box, shall we? This is the custom clearance markers of the Norwegian custom office. Just make an incision here. Okay. All right. Let's see what's in the box then. Put this away. Yes. Okay, here is some. Uh, okay, wow. This seems pretty nice. I haven't um, really been able to see the scale of it uh, on the on the internet on the different videos and. Uh, and uh, to me it seems uh, solid, plastic. Anyway, I don't have an idea. I've never had miniatures before, so this looks good. And there's the, another one. And what's this then? Oh yeah, this is the Reaper. Uh, the girl on the motorbike. It's actually quite smaller than I thought it would be. And on the air, here's the big dragon. Wow, it's heavy. Okay, let's put this to the side. Look at it. And Cthulhu. Nice. And another separate miniature and uh, painting. Bones miniatures in four simple steps. Well, uh, I'm not particularly patient, so I don't know if uh, I'm going to do this actually. Um, Oh yeah, colors. Oh my god. Well, um, yeah, okay. So this is the, probably the receipt. Yep, 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 seems good. And there is nothing more left. Like this. Look at this later on and um, put it back because I'm more interested in seeing what's in this big box. Oh, this is the wings. Oh, wow, look at this. So, I guess you snap it together somehow. There's the base, 
really have a good use. Wow, really nice detail. Let's try to put this together. I, uh, I'm the impatient guy, so I don't really have time to paint. Probably fall apart anyway so when I put this together. Okay, soft plastic. And um, where do you think the head goes? Okay, this must be where the wings go. Okay, this is the head. Okay. And this. I have no idea what this is. Okay. And the wings, it's going. Okay, so this is uh, just a preliminary uh, look. Uh, let's try to find something to put something in, in scale. absolutely no idea where I should put this. Okay, and this is the big one. The big dragon. And then, and then there is uh, Cthulhu. So what happens here is that I put together the Cthulhu uh, statue and actually succeed in doing so. But when I tried to put it on the base that uh, came with the figurine, the feet of the Great Cthulhu did not match with the base. Why is this? Why does not the base match the feet of the Cthulhu? It could be, of course, that Cthulhu, the Great Cthulhu, is from beyond the stars. He is beyond our human understanding of universe and time. He is beyond our existence, past and present. So maybe it's because it is some sort of secret knowledge embedded in the... So anyway, I try to match the fit with the base but I didn't quite get it to, to fit. Actually it was quite a big gap, it was one centimeter so I couldn't get the figure to stand uh, on the base uh, properly. There is a trick I've seen on the internet when you boil water and then you put the figures into the water for a few seconds, remove it and put it into cold water. After you put, take it out of the cold water, you can bend the figure so that it matches uh, the different uh, positions that you originally, the figurine was meant to have. So maybe I'll try this one. But I, but I don't know if I can do it with Cthulhu because it's such a big figure and the plastic seems quite stiff. Thanks for watching and you probably did not enjoy this video as much as you probably hoped for. Uh, to that I may say I'm sorry, um, but I will try better next time I do a um, uh, bones um, pledge uh, on uh, Kickstarter. 
Um, so maybe even I will make a, a new video uh, if uh, people subscribe and make comments I might uh, uh, be bold enough to try even to paint one of the miniatures uh, which would be a great comedic comedic relief I think to the general populace uh, so uh, once again thank you for watching and hope you have a splendid day weekend and maybe we'll uh, uh, talk later Bye-bye.